sci-fi is suddenly a reality. People will see that we can actually grow organs, you know, we can replace the body with synthetic elements. Today we're launching two white papers looking at what are the barriers to 3D printed medical devices in Australia and proposing solutions to those as well. It's the result of two years worth of work here at RMIT. These kind of technologies can lead to the expansion of the industry and create more jobs. There was a, a really wide range of people on the panel who were looking at it from very different perspectives, from the SMEs through to the insurers through to surgeons. Due to 3D printing, we can actually manufacture a surface that otherwise would not be manufacturable. It provides the capability to address some very challenging anatomy deformities, uh, also major reconstructive procedures. And we can create completely customised or personalised patient-specific medical devices. Just think of it, instead of having to send something from overseas to here, it can be manufactured right there. It's a very new space and it's only something that's being done for select patients. There are still questions as to when it's applicable, when it's not applicable and how much it's going to cost us. We need to think about new ways to collect evidence, collect data, to accommodate with the fast pace of technological innovation. There is a need to create evidence. How can we do it in a field that is different? We're talking about customised devices. It requires hospitals to collaborate and provide the data requires patients and surgeons to provide follow-up studies. Collaboration is key to overcome most of the barriers. The panelists were amazing. RMIT is really excellent at ensuring that we look at a broad range of stakeholders, a broad range of industries. We might not be aware of all the different problems that are out there because we only see things from our discipline. So I think it's really important to get everybody in the same room in an event like this and talk about it. Where we need to improve in Australia is the sharing of what we do well and that will then encourage other surgeons to take the leap and make the change. It's great that universities are taking a role in making things happen. To actually see it come to fruition when the white papers published was very positive. There was good questions from the audiences, good engagement, there was interest. It's events like this that we actually really take in what are people saying. We need to have these discussions to work out how industry and all the different stakeholders can help push those boundaries to create innovation and create the next technology. There are lots of small Australian companies doing absolutely incredible things, exporting around the world. I really think the future is bright. We're talking about a lot of different new business models here with, with 3D printing technologies. It's just a matter of building that momentum.